When powering up the Cinemaric Control, there's just a few basic steps needed to be taken. First, we must turn on the system by applying power to the control. This is typically done by turning on the machine's main disconnect switch. Once booted up, you're going to be looking at either the jog screen or the reference point screen. You can toggle between either screen by either using the machine's control hard panel buttons or selecting the menu select key and using the corresponding vertical soft keys. When looking at the reference point screen, it is important to notice that there is a bullseye for each of your axes. If no bullseye is present, that means that an axis requires to be referenced. If this is the case on your machine, refer to your manufacturer's machine manual for a proper procedure on referencing. Now moving back to the jog screen, we're going to set up a few extra functions that need to be turned on. The next step is typically turning on the enables for both the spindle and for your feed. Once enables have been activated, we can make sure that our overrides are at an appropriate point. Typically I will set my spindle at 100% and then my feed rate somewhere down around 10 or 20%. Now that our enables are on, we can now turn on the physical axes. Locate the machine's e-stop button, release the button, and then press the reset key to clear any active errors or alarms. As long as no errors or alarms are present, the drive should now be engaged. Choose the appropriate axis for jog by using the jog pad on the machine control panel. Now select either the plus or minus button to physically jog the axis. The final step needed to be taken is checking to see the state of the coordinate system. The coordinate can be displaying either the machine coordinate system or the work coordinate system. This can be changed by using the vertical soft key actual values machine. By pressing this button, you can see that we can toggle between the machine coordinate system and the work coordinate system.